Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have fun doing a full face of Chanel Beauty products. I have pulled out my favorites that are not limited edition. I've had a few people reach out to me asking me to share some of my favorite Chanel products that are actually in stock that are not limited edition and the good news is I have a lot of the classics that I use day in and day out. So I have pulled my favorite products that I think all of them are in stock. These are classics that I have used or repurchased and I thought we would just kind of do a quick easy makeup look today using my favorite classic Chanel products. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are going to put some makeup on this face and I was asked to do a full face of Chanel, but using things that are actually in stock, meaning none of these limited edition products that are hard to get your hands on or that are already sold out. And to be honest with you, a lot of my favorite products are exactly the ones that are classics that are going to be in stock anyways. So we are going to start with complexion and one of my ultimate favorite foundations from Chanel is the La Beige Water Fresh Tint and this has been repurchased and repurchased and repurchased. So true love. Now the deal with this one is that it doesn't have a ton of coverage but you can use a concealer to kind of spot correct anything else you need on your skin. But today I thought I would create sort of a kind of fresh la beige look, like the healthy glow look. But I have so many of their foundations that I love for different reasons, but on the day to day, I absolutely love the Water Fresh Tint. I think it does something a bit magical on the skin. It's very hydrating and plumping. And what I do is I just kind of break up the pigment within that plumping agent and it just will even out your skin. So give it a minute. When you first put it on, you might be like, oh, there's absolutely no coverage. But as you are buffing it into your skin, the pigments kind of burst and you will get some coverage with this. So I love this. I feel like it does this magical glow on the skin and it really does kind of blur imperfections. Okay, here is what two pumps looks like. Usually I would just leave it like this because I know it's going to blur everything out, but I did want to show you that you can build it up. So I'm going to take one more pump right here and I'll actually use my finger here to kind of break up that pigmentation here. And that's what I'm saying. You'll start to see there actually is some coverage. I'm just going to now put some of this on with my fingertips to kind of build this up. And it's all going to kind of blur in just a few minutes as it dries down. Truly a fantastic everyday foundation that is going to give you such a beautiful, healthy glow on the skin. And I am in the shade medium light. Okay, here is what this water fresh tint looks like. I love it. It just sort of plumps up my skin. It feels hydrating, 
blurring all the good stuff. And then for a little extra coverage, I pulled out my Chanel Le Corrector. And this one is a gel based concealer. So I am going to use this on my skin as well as underneath my eyes. And I have this in the shade B30. Okay, I've got a nice little canvas here. And again, my face feels very plump and hydrated. Just what I love. And today, since I'm doing a little bit of a radiant kind of easy look, I pulled out my La Beige. This is the Water Fresh Blush. And I have this one in Intense Pink. But I also pulled out a couple of my favorite Le Beige blush sticks. So we may do a little bit of layering today because I haven't used those in a while and I really like them. I used one the other day and I was like, why am I not using more of these? But I'm going to start with a thin layer of the blush. And so this is intense pink and I'm just going to kind of take my brush here and we are going to create a little bit of freshness kind of higher up on the cheekbones here. And this is just going to give me a little bit of color that I can layer on with some of the color sticks as well. I'm going to load up today, pulling out some of my favorites, but just in general, you could do one or the other. I am just kind of playing with some of my favorites today. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of that pink on my eye look here, just kind of brushing that on the lid, getting a little color and put a little bit on the bridge of my nose as well. Okay, this is what those blushes look like. And again, um, just really kind of radiant, more youthful looking makeup. And then for a little bit of bronze on the face. I am opting to use one of my Chanel blush sticks. These are the Le Beige blush sticks that are so good. And that's going to be like a perfect, it's slightly bronzy, a little bit terracotta, but it tends to look so natural on the skin. So I am going to kind of put a little bit of this color here. And again, it's a blush color, but I am using it a little bit like contour and a little bit like bronzer today. Just going to come put a little bit up here as well. A little bit of color around the face. And then I am going to blend that color in. Taking whatever's left on my brush, I'm just kind of creating a shadow underneath 
my chin here. See, it gives me like a little bit of bronze on the face, but it's just not too much. And so as much as I love my La Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream, I just wanted to give you another option as well because that color stick just looks so pretty. Then I am taking the color stick in number 23. This one is so pretty. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this more like kind of on the apples of the cheek since we already have some blush uh, on the cheeks with that bl water fresh blush. I'm just kind of giving myself just a little extra pop. And this one has a little bit more of a coral pink tone to it. So we're layering up a little bit of freshness here. Then for highlighter, I love the Balm Essentials and I actually pulled out my Rosé Balm Essential. I also love sculpting. This is sculpting right here. I love the new Mermaid Glow, but I'm pretty sure that it is sold out. But basically, I'm going to take one of these Balm Essentials and I'm just going to highlight the tops of my cheeks here. This will give you that sort of glass skin look that I just think is so pretty. And I'm definitely feeling the spring vibes. Absolutely loving the little touch of warmer weather that we've been experiencing. And then I am going to take a little bit of my La Beige um, sheer glow powder just a teeny bit and I'm going to kind of run it just down the t-zone I don't necessarily feel like I need it anywhere else but you can put it where you think you need it I'm just going to kind of come down I don't want to take away from the glow but I do want to kind of set everything here Okay, we've got a little glow going on with the complexion products. And then for eyes, I just pulled out one of my most used eye palettes from Chanel. This is from the La Beige line. These are the natural eyeshadow palettes. And this one is in medium. And as you can see, very, very well loved. And I'm just going to do a really simple eye today. Again, kind of keeping with this fresh look. I'm going to start with this little shade up here, sort of this bone shade. And as you can see, I've already got a little bit of that pink color. So I am just going to put a little bit of that bone color all over my eyes here. Then I'm going over to this shade right here. I just love this. Like oftentimes I will just pop on these two shades right here. I'm going to use this as my crease shade. Wanting to keep the eye look kind of fresh. So we're not going to do a full smoky eye. I'm just using couple shadows from here but it just has a really nice texture and I find them to be sort of easy to use and forgiving on more mature eyes and this is the palette I always grab for like when I'm traveling or when in doubt and I just want something that's going to look polished put together um, but isn't hard to use this is the one I'm going to grab and I'm going to take a little bit of this lighter shade. It's sort of a topper shade here. I'm using the other flat edge side of my blender shader brush from Chanel. And I am just taking a bit of that. And I'm going to take that kind of in that inner corner here. Doing a little bit of lightness. Kind of right to the iris. 
a little bit of lightness. And then I'm coming over to the other little taupey shade here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that to the outer corner. And bring that up into the V just a bit. And this is what I've created so far. Super easy. And then I pulled out my two favorite eyeliner colors here. These are the Chanel Stilo Ye Waterproof Eyeliners. These are just my favorite eyeliners ever. And I love to use both Brune Agape and Marine. So Marine is a blue navy that I like to use a little bit more on my upper lash line for a little pop of color and then the brune agape is just like the perfect bronzy brown that just goes with everything so these are my two favorite colors and in a pinch you literally can just create the simplest eye look using these two eyeliners so i'm gonna go ahead and take my brune agape and what i like to do is run that in the waterline and a little bit on the bottom as well. It's not too dark of a color. So we've got a little definition there and then I want to go ahead and pop my eyes with a little bit of blue. So I'm just going to focus on the upper lash line and you can even put a little bit on that top lash line and we can smoke that out since I got a little bit up there anyways. So we'll create just kind of on the outer third there and then I will smoke that out. Okay, pretty simple eye look there. And then we're gonna load up the lashes with my um, Allure Noir mascara here. And I tend to take a few minutes putting on my mascara. So I will go put on my mascara and then I will pop back and we'll put on a quick lippy. Okay, we have eyes on keeping everything pretty simple today and then for my lips I pulled out one of my most used lip combos so I love the Rouge Coco Flash in Boy and then I like to pair it either with Pavone or Nude Brun and lately I have been reaching for Nude Brun more than my Pavone, which I absolutely love. So either one of them is going to work. The Pavone's a little bit more of that mauve tone, which I like, but for today's purposes, I'm feeling like I'm gonna go with my more nudie um, lip liner, which is Nude Run. So what I will do is line my lips with that Nude Brun. Take the other side here and just sort of feather that lip liner on my lips. I 
And these are my two favorite lip liners here. This one is Nude Brun and this one is Pavone. So you can see they are similar, but one's just a little bit more on that uh, mauve tone and the other one's just a little bit more of a nude tone here. They're very close, but a little different and I love both of them. And then I'm gonna top with Boy. And Boy to me is just the perfect pinky beige tone and it looks great with both lip liners. So I will. this boy on top and it just creates such a beautiful lip combo so again either one of those lip liners is going to look so pretty so let me just show you kind of top both of them so you can kind of see the tone here so as you can see they just create a really beautiful kind of custom lip shade and I actually like boy on its own without any lip liner so if I'm out and about I actually have a boy in my purse and I also have a boy on my beauty table so if that gives you any idea how much I love that lip shade I guess I would say that's my signature shade from Chanel. Um, Repurchased, I just love it. And I love this formula because it's a little bit shinier, but it's thin enough, it's not gloppy, it's just a really pretty lip formula. Now one thing that I'm sad about that I absolutely love splurging on is I am a huge fan of the Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. This is a way that I like to sort of finish off my makeup with a little bit of this mist. Ah, mine's almost gone. This is also fantastic for flyaways with your hair. So as the ending touch, I will take a little bit of this. It has the best little spray here. And just kind of fix my little hair here with that as well. And this mist is just going to set your makeup, kind of make sure there's no powdery look or anything. But this is also such a great pick me up during the day. When you want a little hydration boost, I highly, highly recommend this Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. Yeah, it's just really a great product, especially for any of us that have dry skin. I think that's why this one's almost gone because of the winter months. I would often um, throughout the day give myself a little spritz just to kind of hydrate my skin, give myself a little boost. So just a really great product and again, the spray just sort of gives you the perfect amount for beautiful, healthy glow. Okay, then of course we're going to finish with fragrance of the day. And to be honest, I have been on a beige kick lately. This is the perfume I took with me to LA. I have just been absolutely loving this one. And I like to describe this as happiness in a bottle. This does have a little nostalgic note to it. It does smell a little bit like Johnson's Baby Shampoo. And I always say this, I mean that in the best way possible. And my friend Stacy and I were laughing about all the sort of 80s slash 90s shampoo. If any of you recall, remember, gee, your hair smells terrific. Prowl, Body on Tap. There was Finesse. Um, there was that one with the wheat. Let me see. That was the Fabergé Organics. I'm forgetting some of the other ones, but you get the gist. This one has a little touch of a shampoo note in it, but in the best way possible. It has, this also has a honeyed note in here. Um, Hawthorne Bouquet is the floral notes in here. It truly is just a classic Chanel stunner that is happiness in a bottle and it just makes you feel great. It is a perfect scent for the spring as well. I almost decided to wear gardenia. That's gonna be perfect maybe like for next month. 
Gardenia is such a beautiful floral scent, just a classic, but I've just been having so much fun wearing beige. And it was kind of fun while I was on my sister's trip. I had sprayed this on and they were both like, what are you wearing? So we had a little bit of fun twinning with our beige perfume. But basically this is my final look of the day using a full face of Chanel products that are not limited edition. I'm hoping all of these are in stock. These are kind of classic Chanel products and I'm hoping everybody has a fantastic weekend and I will be back with another video soon.